In this tutorial, we're going to explore how we can code the Newton's root finding method inside Python. Newton's method is a technique that we use to find the root of an equation. All right, a root is a value of x that when we put into the equation, it equates to zero. All right, so that's a root. Now, Newton's method is a fairly common mathematical concept, and it's generally taught at the high school level. But one thing that can get a little confusing is how to actually code this, you know, to make your a program that automatically applies Newton's method on, a, you know, an equation. Okay, and it gives you the root. So this is a little confusing because we need to differentiate in Newton's method. All right, I have the formula right here, and you can see here that we have xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus fxn divided by f prime xn, where f prime is the differentiated function. Okay, we're given a function and we're trying to, you know, find the root. So over here we put the value of xn into the function. We substitute the value uh, into the function of xn, right? And over here, we differentiate the function and then put the value xn inside of it, all right? I won't go into great depth over here as to how Newton's method works, okay? I'm mainly going to be focusing on the implementation, all right? But we'll discuss generally how it works along the way, all right? So without further ado, let's begin. I'm going to first create a symbol called x, all right? What I'm doing here is actually using the SymPy library in Python because I need to actually use uh, I need to come up with a way to differentiate that function, right? And SymPy is a scientific computation library in Python that actually allows us to do so. So I'm using SymPy for it, all right? There are other ways, of course, so you can uh, go ahead and use any of those, okay? I think like SciPy as well, or you can make your own differentiation function, all right? That's up to you, okay? So I'm just using SymPy over here, okay? Uh, you can learn more about that in my videos. I'll leave a link to it, okay? Uh, so I'm just going to create this symbol x. It's an unknown. We can now create an equation using it, okay? And um, the equation can be something like x to the power 2 minus x minus 6, okay? And if I remember correctly, the roots for this should be 3 and minus 2, okay? So when we make our function, we'll verify our answer and make sure that we get these two roots, okay? And we'll make the initial value zero. Okay. And what else? All right. So let's begin coding that function. Let's talk a bit about the logic behind Newton's method. Basically, what it does is it takes an initial value and then it continuously performs iterations using this initial value. And with every iteration, this value gets updated, okay? We keep updating the value every iteration and it gets closer and closer to the actual root with every iteration. And eventually, with enough iterations, it converges to the root, okay? So that's how this works. And the more iterations we do, the more accurate it'll be. Some, so, some of them will converge earlier. Some of them will take more iterations to converge, all right? So finding a balance is kind of uh, necessary. Uh, but let's just pick a standard, you know, value of 10, 10 iterations, okay? And I'm going to make a for loop now that iterates n number of times where n is 10, okay? And let's just remove some spacing over there, all right? Now what I'm going to do is x0 is equal to x0. This is basically signifying that I want to be updating the value of x0, okay? As you can see here in this formula, we're basically, you know, calculating this over here xn minus f uh, xn upon f prime xn, okay? We're updating this value in, and gonna make it the next value, okay? So if we're in the first iteration, which is iteration zero, i is equal to zero, this is gonna be x zero, okay? And this whole, you know, value over here, this calculated value is gonna be equal to x one, okay? And that's how this is working. This has an initial value. X0 is already 0. So we need to actually calculate the value of X1 now. All right, so let's continue our coding. What I'll do now is f, where f is our function, dot substitute. Okay, this is a SymPy uh, method because this is now recognized as a SymPy expression. So SymPy allows us to simply substitute this function with the value of X0. Okay? 
pretty cool. And I'll divide this by the differentiated function, okay? And diff is, you know, differentiate. The first parameter it takes is the function f to be differentiated. The second parameter is the symbol, okay, with respect to which we're derivating it. Okay, you know, we say derivate this function with respect to x, that's what this is. So I'll simply pass in x over here, which is our symbol, okay? And then this will return the differentiated function, right? And when we get that differentiated function, I want to substitute the value of x0 into it, okay? So this is it. We just completed Newton's method. That's all there really was to it. Now what I'll do is print out the value of x0 with every iteration, just so we can see its value, okay? And I'm gonna print out the final value over here as well, okay? And yeah, let's do this. Let's run our code and we should get uh, the root, okay? One of these roots. So, let me just do that, okay? Okay, there's actually an error over here. I made a silly mistake. Basically, the substitute function, it takes two parameters. It takes x, okay, and then it takes the value in, you know, by which you want to substitute x. Because I told it to substitute x0 into the equation, but I didn't tell it what to substitute it into. Okay, this is you know, done in the case that there are multiple unknowns inside the equation. So you need to tell SimPy that substitute x0 into x, okay? So let's do that over here as well. And let's run this code and it's gonna work. Okay, this is a really big mess. And this may look like it's inaccurate, but trust me, it is not. Okay, you can see here that we're getting some reasonable values over here. And then it slowly deteriorates into some kind of insane mass of numbers. This is correct, okay, this is correct. But the reason why it's so huge is because SimPy is trying to give us a very, very accurate answer, okay? And we don't want an answer that accurate. Uh, well, actually we do, we might, we might. For example, if we want to use this value in computation, then I would suggest, you know, you simply go with this value, don't try and modify it at all, okay? Because this is like super accurate, all right? And don't modify it if you want a very accurate solution. Okay, if you're gonna use this value later on. But if you want to just get a kind of dumbed down version of this, uh, you know, a smaller version that doesn't have so many decimals, what you can do is just convert this to a float. Okay, if you convert this to a float, then we'll get a much more human readable answer. Okay, so here you can see minus six, then we end up with minus 3.2, minus 2.2, and we slowly converge, become more and more accurate over here until we get 2.0, okay, which is, as you can see, one of the roots to this equation. And you can just plug that value in here and you can see that we actually get zero. We can verify that this is an actual root, okay? So this is, you know, we know this is working, okay? We know our answer is correct. So yeah, that's how we implement Newton's method. You can try this out on other equations as well. For example, three to the power, uh, three x to the power three, and something like um, minus x plus one, okay? Uh, and if we try making the roots of this, I think this is, an, this is a valid equation, so it'll give us a root, okay? Because keep in mind that, um, is this converging? I don't think it is. It doesn't really look like it. I may have, um, screwed up something. Maybe this is not a valid equation. Okay. Maybe I messed up the sign. Okay, this looks like it's con con converging. I messed up the signs over there. And this is something important to keep in mind that not all equations have a root. Okay, so you may not get an answer. So you need to actually uh, account for that. Don't think you can, you can plug in any equation here and you'll, you'll get a root, okay? Only those which have a root will actually return a root, will only converge to a root, okay? So that's just, just something I want to you know, tell you guys. And with this, our implementation, our tutorial on the Newton's method in Python, the code implementation is now complete.
So yeah, if you like this video and you want to see more in the future, do subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. We'll have future videos like this as well, like one on Taylor series that that's going to be coming out next. Okay, and we'll make you know other stuff like this that we you know where we code different mathematical operations, the mathematical algorithms. Okay, so if you want to see more like this in the future, do let me know. Leave a, leave a, leave a comment. Let me know what exactly you want to see uh, coded. Okay, if it's something I can do, then I will make a video on it. All right. So yeah, that's it for today. See you guys in a future video.